So if you guys was following me on Instagram, you pretty much know what's inside this box. Special box, Mamba Sita on the top. That's what it looks like when you first open this bad boy up. That's a tissue paper fire. Ooh. Here it is, baby. What do you guys think? Let me know. Let's get into it though. Retail Poppy. Receipt boys. What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. Tell me showing you guys the Kobe 8, Mamba Sita. All right guys, so these did officially come out on May 1st, Gigi's birthday, and for the past three years, we have been seeing a shoe dedicated to her. Now with that being said, on this shoe right here, we did get a special box. We normally don't see a special box, but I'm happy that we did get a special box on this shoe. It comes in a white box and it says Mamba Sita up there with her number and the angel wings on the outside. I did go with a size 10 on these. We don't get to just retail on the boxes anymore. The retail on this is 190 and they're currently going for about 300 depending on sizing. But let's get into it guys. Let me know if you guys are feeling these or what you guys think about it. But on the inside as well, it does say Mamba Sita on the top with the number two and the angel wings and the halo over top. Same thing we saw on the top of the box. And we do get some special tissue paper on this. As you guys see it's in gold, it's the same thing that we've seen on the top of the box and on the top of the inside of the box. We also get an extra set of tissue paper on the inside of the shoe. Now, I wasn't expecting to hit these, but I did go for a size 10, which is kind of a common size. And I felt like, you know, it was a lot of pairs of size 10. That's why I didn't go for the size 10 and a half, because normally I like to go up a full size and a half on these. But I do a very detailed sizing tip on these shoes. If you guys want to check that out later on the video, make sure you guys go check that out. But uh, this is the shoe right here, man. What do you guys think about it? Is it a cop or drop for you guys? Let me know in the comments box below. I feel like, you know, these type of shoes won't come out for a very long time, especially now that they're dropping a new shoe for the Mamacita every year, meaning like a new silhouette. So, you know, the next time these get re-released, who knows when it will happen. So this is really like a collector's piece, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about it. On the bottom of the shoe here, it is in all white. You get a little bit of black carbon fiber down there with the Kobe logo towards the back half. On the midsole here, it is in white. You see the Kobe logo. It's a little bit of black on the inside. Coming up towards the base of the shoe here, we do see the butterflies and the white mesh material and the gold swoosh. The team colors when she did play basketball and the butterflies just to remember her. Now this shoe, once again, was released on her birthday and I finally did get in the mail from Nike if you guys missed that part earlier. But what do you guys think about this shoe? Is it a copper drop for you guys? Let me know in the comments box below. Is this the best out of the three? Let me know in the comments box below. I really do like the Kobe 6. It's more of a black shoe. Um, and then I would say this one is probably next in my opinion. We also get this nice charm, which is a heart and it says Mama Seath on it with the angel wings and the number two in the middle. Pretty dope, nothing on the back of it, just because you guys are wondering. Same thing on the inside of the shoe here. The shoe has a lot of good details. I don't see any stitching errors or glue stains on my pair. Um, I got a really good pair, really solid pair towards on both insides of the shoe here. We do get this small Nike swoosh in gold. All right, now on the toe box here, these won't crease up on you because of the mesh like material. We also get like this hard plastic type of steel toe material in here. So just in case people try to step on your foot, it won't hurt as much. It's not on the whole toe box of the shoe, mainly like where your toes are, just a little bit harder than the rest of the shoe. If you guys did not know that, I never had a Kobe before, but you won't have to worry about wearing anywhere with shoe treating these because these won't crease up because of the material used. Looking at the mud guard here, this is white on the mud guard. All right, the tongue on this shoe isn't a black leather tongue. The top of the tongue, we do see the Kobe logo in gold. On the inside of the tongue here, we get this Easter egg, and it says Mamba Sika with the number two right there. Pretty dope, outlined in a heart. We get some tissue inserts on these. The sock lining of the shoe isn't like a black, and we get this really nice black Nike React insole on this shoe. Take it out for you guys. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about right here. So this is why they fit a little bit snug if you guys try to go true to size, you know, stay Brought the whole video for the whole sizing tips, but show you guys the back of the insole. That's a Nike React. And this is the technology that is used in the shoe. Underneath the actual insole, it is in white with some white stitching. We have a quick look at that real fast. The production dates on this was 10 18 23 to 12 12 23. Show you guys that. All right, come towards the back of the shoes here. We get the Mamba logo in the background in black. If you guys look on the left shoe, it says GG. On the right shoe, we have the number two. Pretty dope. And that's pretty much gonna do it for this shoe, guys. All right. I'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right now. 
Okay guys, so this way is like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. Now I'm a shoe size and I'm gonna get nine and a half on my shoes. When it comes to Kobe's, I normally go up to a full size, so a full size and a half up. I was going to go full size and a half up, but I felt like my chances on these would be better if I went up a full size, feeling like it would be more pairs in stock and I was able to hit them from sneakers app. Now, I actually do have the right insole out of the right shoe i have the left insole in and i will say that you know it does feel pretty comfortable as you guys can see i have a lot of space in here um show you guys my big toe is my big toe is right here okay and um and i have a lot of space at the top of this toe box so length wise is perfect um i would say that on the width side though i do feel the material just a little bit but not as much as the kobe sixes so you know i feel like these do fit when you go a full size up now i would say go at least a half size up minimum on these and when i took out the insole on this it feels really really nice but you know you don't have that nike react on the inside so you know it's not going to be as cushiony on you know the bounce and you know when you land and things like that but i don't have any slippage on there as you guys can see i'm going to put the insole in but like i said before this has no insole in it right now this is a full size up and they still do fit and it's unlaced as you guys can see but uh, i'm gonna put the full insole in so you guys can see the full effect right here real fast so when i put the insole in there try to put it on my foot it still does go on pretty easy it does feel a lot more stiffer now i will say once again that they still do fit but once again you know go up half a size minimum on these in my opinion i did go up a full size for a better wearing experience if you are very shifty and things like that on your toes i would say go up a full size to a full size and a half up especially you know you're going to be wearing these to play ball you're going to have them tied up anyway length wise it's going to be perfect if you go you know a full size up or a full size and a half up it's just the width size that's where the problem is on these shoes in my opinion but uh hope you guys like this video i'm gonna show you guys we just like some different pants options right now okay guys so i hope you guys like this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe show your boy some love and stay tuned